Hi guys, welcome back to Messy and Beautiful. I'm Sarah Jane. Thanks for joining me today for another video. Um, I'm going to be setting up my Motown cover. This is my new one that I got for Christmas um, to put my Stalogy in. Now, I'm going to switch to voiceover because I want to talk to you a bit about my plans for 2024 as I do it. Um, and I just think it's going to be easier for me to concentrate on one thing at a time rather than talk about something different whilst I'm setting this up. Um, so I hope you'll bear with me and I hope you enjoy this. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I just want to say first of all that a lot of the things that I do in this video are just trial and error and so there's a lot of me moving stuff about. Um, I'm cutting up here a piece of packaging that I got from Josephine Bow Designs because I like the background of the pink with white dots. Um, I am going to talk to you about my plans for 2024 as this video is running because I just think it gives a bit of visual interest but I will try and kind of interject and tell you what I'm doing at the same time. Um, I've thought a lot about my plans for 2024 um, and since editing so many haul videos this year I know that one of my biggest problems is that I overspend. Um, I personally really struggle with overspending um, and there's a possibility that I have ADHD and that may be part of the reason that I do a lot of impulse buying. Um, I shop when I'm sad and I shop when I'm happy and I shop when I'm excited or tired, sick and generally, I just get fear of missing out um, and I accept that I feel like I look at things and then I add them to my car. I pay for them and I don't really think about the consequences. Um, I also don't remember half of the stuff that I bought, where I put it or whether I've already got something similar. And when I've tried to do this privately, it hasn't worked. And so I feel like I need a bit of accountability, which is kind of why I'm thinking about sharing it with you guys. Um there is a bit more to this um, and what I plan on doing, but just to get back to the cover a little bit, um, the things that I settle on in this video are the Pocoyo paperclip, which is from my Unicorn Planner, um, my Coffee Monsters Co paperclip, um, which came in one of the sub boxes, I believe, and then the little guy pulling a funny face is um, from Planner from the Advent box. I'm just playing around with some die cuts here, um, trying to figure out what I want to put in. Um, a few of them are like too big, and, and like I said, a lot of this is trial and error. Um, so one of the things that I've really thought about is that I'm easily influenced by pretty designs and characters and stationery generally. And you can probably tell that from the content that I've been posting. Um, I want all the stuff and often it is like limited edition and I fall into the trap of like, I need to buy it now or I'm going to miss out on it forever. Um, and I forget there will be something else that I want, but that's usually tomorrow. You know, I want something else the next day and the next day. And I've got myself into a lot of debt and I'm talking thousands of pounds. And most of that is down to this hobby. Um, and I think I buy the hope of having the time to use the things one day. Um, now, I know that's a lot and I just wanted to be completely honest, basically. Um, the money wasn't wasted for me. I love absolutely everything I own and even just looking at it makes me happy. And doing things like setting up this planner cover is just like my piece. It's what brings me a lot of joy in my life um, and helps with my mental health. Now, this money that's been spent has also helped me to teach me a lot of lessons about myself Um but I have also realised that in spending all of that money, I probably could have taken my kids on a dream holiday by now. Um, and so I've been reorganising my space, as you've probably seen in my Messy Shed series, um, that will continue soon because I do think it's important for me to get my space organised. And it helps me to realise how much stuff I actually have because I'm nowhere near done. Um, and I'm finding that the more that I order, the messier it gets. And I'm in a constant cycle of like unboxing stuff, tidying it up, reorganising my space just to have more parcels arrive. Um, and I moan that I haven't got the time to do the things I want to do or to create very much. And a lot of that time is actually spent shopping, unboxing and then editing those haul videos. Um, I do still have a couple of haul videos to upload that I filmed sort of September to December last year. So I will upload those. Um, but... The time that it takes me to do those haul videos takes me away from creativity time. Um, I often feel really overwhelmed looking at my shed and I come out here and I spend all the time tidying up or unboxing something new, um, which is why for 2024 I want to commit to a low spend. Now I'm not doing a no spend because I know myself well enough that I am going to fail at a no spend. So I'm setting myself some rules for a low spend 
um, because let's be honest, I won't be able to manage a no buy year. Um, I feel like a low spend is very achievable for me. Um, and I've thought about what the parameters are for me to be able to stay within that low spend um, so that I can stick to it and make it easier for me to manage. Um, before I get into what the rules of those, like the parameters of what my low spend is, I'm just going to take you through a little bit more about the planner cover because um, I appreciate I haven't updated you about that for a while. So the bottom left sticker that says creativity is from Salem Creative and then the Hello Kitty bookmark that's next to it is from Amazon. Um, it's just one of those magnetic page marker things. I've pulled out a rainbow and sunshine die cut that's just above the Coffee Monsters Co. paperclip that's from Sunday and Serenity who are now Oh Hello Feelings Co. Um, this card I'm writing on says positive thoughts and it's actually something I got free from Gretel Creates. So I'm writing on there three positive thoughts to try and keep me going throughout the year. So I've written I am enough, I don't need to do more and I am in charge of my own dreams. Um, the other sticker that I haven't uh, kind of explained in the cover is the one that says I'm too punk rock for this. And that came from Punny Moon. Um, the paper clip at the top is Tuxedo Sam. And that came from my unicorn planner. And then the little bow I've got attached to the positive thoughts card from Gretel Creates is um, from Mac and Grey Designs that I bought at one of the planner events. There's a little day re daily reminders thing from every minute a story that I play around with for a bit. Um, and then I'm just back into trial and error. Um, that little clip's from Once More With Love. And then here I'm attaching, that's a Villa Beautiful paper clip um, that I got in one of the grab boxes, I think, from Southwest Planner Club. Might have been a raffle win, actually, from Emily um, at the Midlands Planner Meet, now I think about it. Um, and then here I'm just trying to fill my pockets at the sides now. So I've got a piece of paper from Oh Halo Feelings Co. that was the envelope that she sent me one of the orders in. Um, that I'm going to cut up and put into the side of the planner. So just getting back to the parameters, basically, of my low spend and what I think my low spend is going to be. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is shopping my stash. Um, so using up as much as I can from the stash that I already have. Um, the second thing is that I must spend at least an hour a week getting creative. So whether that is doing my planner or doing another project, I feel like if I if I give myself that target of an hour a week, it means that I'm getting an hour of me time and it means I'm using up my stuff for an hour um, rather than just sitting shopping and, you know, trying to buy things that I don't really need. Um my third thing is to wait 48 hours before I buy anything that I didn't already decide that I wanted. So if there is a new release that I've seen that I'm like, oh, I really want that. And, you know, I know that in a couple of days in advance that I wanted it, then that's OK. I can purchase that if I've got the money for it, um, subject to a couple of conditions. Um, but if I didn't know it existed, then I can't just jump on an impulse buy. Because I'm trying to reduce my impulse buying because that's one of my biggest problems is that I see something pretty and then I have to have it. Um, so the fourth thing is that if I run out of something that I need, then that can be replaced. And the key word there is need. So I can't just go on and buy something because I'm like, I've used that die cut sticker. I don't have one anymore. I'm going to buy it. I mean, more like the glue, the tape runners, like things that are likely to run out of my stash that I would like to replace so that I can continue with my hobby um just before I come on to the fifth thing I'm just going to update you on what I'm doing on the planner cover so that book clip is from Wisporia um I've put in a little Cuthbert there because I decided that the one the die cut one with the tongue sticking out was too big for my planner cover um so I just put a little sticker in there just to keep ha that same image but in a smaller version and then I spend quite a lot of time messing about with this sticky note seeing if I can get it into my planner somehow um the upshot of that is no so the fifth thing that I'm doing for myself is setting myself a budget of £10 a week on stickers or washi tape. Um, I can afford £10 a week on my hobby. It is something that I do enjoy buying um, and I'm quite happy that £10 a week is enough for me to still buy some stickers or some washi as I see that I 
decide I want something but again I have to wait that 48 hours before I purchase um, just in case I change my mind and the other thing about that £10 a week is that if I want something more expensive then I need to save up for it so for example where I'm going to the Sateki stickers event in May I need to make sure that I've saved up enough money so that when I'm there I can do myself some shopping so that £10 a week is going towards that as well so I'm not necessarily always going to be spending the £10 a week but that is like my ongoing budget it if you like um and then anything that i save from that 10 pounds will go towards that shopping which is number six um so i've kind of covered that already and then number seven is that any storage or organizational boxes or folders do not count if it's helping to get my shed organized to a point that i can use it so I can't go out and buy loads of storage boxes that I don't need. But once I've got to the point where I'm like, oh, actually, I need a storage box for that. I'm not taking that out with the £10 a week. That's coming out of a different pot of money, if you like. Um, then number nine is no more impulse mystery boxes. Um, advents are allowed, but I must save for them. So I am an absolute sucker for a mystery box of goodies from shops, particularly like end of line stuff. Um, and that's something that I want to put a lid on because I always end up with half the things I will use and half the things I won't use. So it's not necessarily good value for money if I end up with half a box of stuff that I'm not going to use. Um, then number 10 is to try and enjoy using all the supplies that I have um, as much as I can. And number 11 is that if I want something specific, I must try and make it myself before I go on and buy it from somewhere. Um, and then the last thing is just really a reminder to myself that filming can be just as fun. Um, PR halls are allowed because, of course, if I'm PRing for a shop, then it's important that I do the things that I've said I'm going to do. Um, and I can haul what I've already pre-ordered because I've got a couple of orders outstanding from last year that are kind of been dispatched or on their way. Um, but a reminder to me that filming can be just as fun and me using the stuff and showing you what I'm doing with it as unboxing things. Um, they do take me slightly longer, but that's something that I'm just going to have to try and manage. Um, and then I want to remember that there isn't anything that I can't make myself and there's nothing more important than my family. And so the money that I don't spend can be saved to take us on holiday and um, so that kind of takes me to the end of like my low spend parameters and what I'm planning on doing for 2024 and um, I have now finished up the cover pretty much I think there's a few more bits and pieces that I make an adjustment on um, so that I like big books and I cannot lie sticker that's in the second pocket from the top is from the grumpy tortoise I do some PR for her at the moment so 15% off with Sarah 15 and you'll get an extra freebie of your choice and she's doing like a collector kit for Hobonichi um cousins i think at the moment so you can go on you can see which freebie you want if you have a look at instagram um put sarah 15 in your code you get 15 percent off and then you get to choose which of the freebies that you want um this is where i'm cutting up that envelope i thought i did it earlier on in the video than this but this is the point where i'm stuffing the side pockets now i've got to a point where i'm settled and happy with the main pockets um the other thing i put in the very top pocket is just a washi card that's got some coffee monsters co washi tape on it um more so for decoration than for actually using it but then it is on hand if i get to a point i'm like oh i don't have any washi for this spread then i can just use that up um because i can always refill my washi cards so I know this video has been a little bit disjointed with me kind of dipping in and out of what my plans are for 2024 and me trying to explain what I'm doing in the video at the same time. Um, but I thought that this would just give a bit more visual interest than me just sitting here and talking at you because I did really consider doing this facing the camera but I'm just I'm still not in a position where I feel ready to do that um, I'm just swapping over a sticky note holder there from the grumpy tortoise um, over to a Disney one and then I get a page from the cute stickers only um, notepad that came in the advent calendar just to have that poking out the side of the cover as well and then I think the only other amendment that I make is that I put my pen in um, that's from Suteki stickers it's one of the um, Enagel cleaners with the Sanrio characters on it and then I think I get my Wisporia um, washi card and tuck that in the side. Oh, I forgot I did this. So I've been using that blue Coffee Monsters Co pencil case for about a year now since I got it. Um, so I thought it was time for a change. So I'm just switching out one blue pencil case for another. Um, but this one's got all the like onesies and stuff on it. And it's supposedly teal, but I think it's blue. Um, 
so yeah then i think that is pretty much me um done for this video i'm just deciding where to put that washi card because it is metal and it's really helpful to have um but i want to make sure that i'm going to put it in a place that i can easily get to it and i can use it a lot so i just end up sticking it in the side um on the left um i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's been a little bit mad um but if you've got any questions about any of my low spend year rules then let me know down below um thank you very much for watching and subscribe if you want to see some more take care everyone bye